Ladies and gentlemen, from the O2 Arena here in London, England, live on the zone, we are set to go with a special international heavyweight attraction. And it's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing. We're sponsored by Betfred, StubHub, Wow Hydrate, Val Nutrition, and JD Sports. Introducing your third man in the ring at the sound of the bell, your referee from Harrow Wheel is Kieran McCann. And now, ladies and gentlemen, eight rounds of boxing scheduled in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting into the red corner, wearing the black trunks with the silver and white trim. He scaled 18 stone, five pounds, bang on. His professional record, 28 victories, seven defeats. He has 20 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the former IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion and two-time world title challenger, fighting out of the Rio Grande Valley of South Texas, USA, the drummer boy, Eric Molina. Molina. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the black and silver trim. He scaled 15 stone, four pounds, five ounces. His professional record, a perfect one. Eight fights, eight victories, all eight wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Romania, Croatia, here is the exciting and hard hitting The Savage Babbage! Babbage! Right, lads, listen to me. You both know the rules. You'll obey my commands at all times. When I tell you to break, break cleanly, step back and throw no punches. Keep your heads out of the way and most importantly, protect yourself at all times. Shake hands. Well, when told earlier this week, Babich, that this was his biggest touch on paper, he said he doesn't fight on paper, and there's proof. A brilliant overhand right, and this could be over in just a few seconds. A dazed face for Eric Molina here. After all of his experience, he's been in with world champions, but has he felt anything like that? There's two jabs from Babich now. Babich again tries to left hook over the top. Molina cowering in the corner. He's in desperate trouble already. Molina tries to fire back, but Babich here wants to create a stoppage inside the opening round as Molina desperately holds on. The mistake Molina is making is that he's firing back. He's leaving himself exposed. He landed a good right hand himself, Molina. And that's the kind of excitement that Babbage brings to ringside here. Wandering in, reckless at times, and the Americans team saying this week that those who are reckless tend to end up as wrecks. And now Molina tries that looping overhand right. He did shake Deontay Wilder in the third round of their world title fight back in 2015 as Babbage tries to open up once again. And Molina once again holds on desperately. This is only a matter of time, Mike. Molina all the time looking to cover up, throwing very tentative punches, and again Babish gets through with the overhand right, followed by a left hook. Molina again grabs, grasps anything he can hold on to to try to stem the flow of aggression. And a big right hand again from Molina twice in a row, and Babish, true to his word, is taking the shots and still moving forward. Molina swinging with the right hand. Tony Bellew saying before the fight that the outcome here could well depend on how much ambition is left in the mind and the body of Molina. 
Well, after that surprise in the opening 10 seconds, we're trying to find out here. He covers up again with another right hand. And Babich this time is on the receiving end. What a start. What an opening round. And his fight with Fabio Wardley, before he was stopped or knocked down, Molina had hurt him with a right hand. And I'm not sure about the ambition, Mike, but what, it's pride, I think, to be stopped this early. I think he's going to give it a go for as long as he can. Babic rousing the crowd here. Last few seconds of the opening round as Molina tries another one of those right hands which are bouncing off the chin of Babic, who's giving away three stony weight here this evening. Many saying that he's really a cruiserweight or maybe in the new weight division a bridgeweight. End of the first round and we didn't think we'd get there after the first few seconds. Nothing happened. I'm not sure what was on the clock, Mike. Two or three seconds. Would that even the first hook hurt him? And then they exchanged right hands. And it's Babic who lands first. It's the fact that Molina threw his punch, which left him exposed. Barrett's very clever, moving his head to his left when he threw his right hand. And credit to Molina, he came back with some strong right hands of his own, such as that one there, and missed with that second one that just whistled past the high part of the head of Alan Babic. Into round two, Molina's been beaten twice in the opening round in his career so far, but somehow, after that early setback, managed to fight his way through to the bell, and has started in lively fashion at the beginning of this, the second round, complaining to the referee about being hit on the back of the head, no, no, no. What no, seemed no. like a lively start. No. But he was accused of looking for the way out against Fabio Wardley back in March. Rightly so, the referee counted him down. Good, solid jab from Babbage getting through. Molina seems to slip there on the surface of the ring. But he looks like a broken man here as the count again is rendered by the referee. He's going to want to go out on his shield here. Two minutes of this round still to survive then. Formalino goes on to the back foot once again. Now Babic is getting through once again. Needs to just time these shots because Molina is a beaten man waiting to be taken out of there. No knockdown. The referee decides to count this time, and very slowly, Molina makes his way to his feet. And the referee decides at the halfway stage of the second round that Eric Molina is in no fit state to continue. And for Alan Babich there, of course, it's another win. Nine fights in a row, all of them inside the distance. But there's a sense of dissatisfaction around that from Eric Molina, who started brightly at the beginning of that second round, promised much more than in the end he delivered in those one and a half minutes. Really, like, uh, disgraceful display from a professional, from a professional boxer. I know he took it at short notice, he's 39 years old, but you can't come here and do that, look for a paycheck. In fairness to him, he had a go in the first round and at the beginning of the second round, but it was hard to see how cleanly these punches landed in the second round. That was the first of the knockdowns, but second time around, it was much less clear. There was a semblance of connection first time around, but the second time, it was very difficult to see what had landed. That one there on the high part of the head. He's putting his head down, he's turning his head away. That's not Bobic's fault. And Babbage doing the right thing, fighting on to the bell. Until the referee says stop. This was the second knockdown. Was there even a punch there? He looks like he slipped. Like their legs got tangled. No, no punch. 
And Babic, they call him reckless. He was barely looking where that punch was directed there. It was head down and just swinging away. Is this the final letdown? A right hand there. There was a right hand. There was a right hand. Good right hand. And that did it. But, but at that stage, he looked as though he'd taken the shot and was ready to continue until he was wrestled to the ground. And that seemed to convince him to roll over very slowly and very slowly make his way up to his feet. Listen, there's no fault of Babbage's. He came and did what he was supposed to do, did what he said he was going to do. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kieran McCann calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and 30 seconds of round number two. Your winner by TKO, he's still undefeated, Allen the Savage Babbage.